Hey Mike, Glenn here from Massachusetts. Um, so I'll explain to you how I uh, fabricated my uh, my primary um, sheave system for the Bobcat. This is my 444. You've seen the videos. Uh, having here a Vanguard 18 horsepower engine with a um, one inch shaft and a .25 keyway. So um, so when I mentioned uh, split jack shaft, see my secondary sheaves. And that whole assembly, that secondary sheave assembly, is spring loaded, so those that will separate. And if you and if you use the tie down, like I explained, the big fat tie down from Harbor Freight, they're probably like ten bucks, fifteen bucks tops. You can wrap it around the belt, kind of run it underneath the frame of the Bobcat, and then like right around here, just crank crank your your ratchet tie down and pull that belt back. And you want that the the rear loop of that belt like directly over the shaft of the engine. Then you can just kind of like take the two halves of the um, sheave and put them together, bolt them together, get them tight, and then just release the ratchet. The whole thing will fall into place. Now, back to the jack shaft. Um, you can see that, do you see this big block on my jack shaft? This is a split jack shaft. Um, there are nuts and bolts that hold that, that, hold that block together. Um, and, you know, and it spins. I mean, I can even turn it over and show you. So, um, that's a split jack shaft. And the purpose of that is so that you can get your belt on and off easily. Some of the old Melrose don't have that. So what you have to do is just take off your covers on both sides, um, loosen up the collars, and then tap the jack shaft out, and then slip the belt on that way, and then, and then bring it around. It's a little more work, but I'll tell you, if you're leaking at all from these jack shaft bearings which some of the old machines do um loader parts source online has the jack shaft uh bearing assembly for like they're 50 bucks a side and it was worth every penny because I've, I've cured that leak and it was a pretty significant leak um but anyways once you get the belt on you pull it back with uh with your ratchet tie down then you'll have the rear loop will be right over the the shaft of the engine, and then just put the whole thing together. And uh, this one here, you can see I got one, two, three bolts, and then a one-inch um, bore that with a standard keyway, and and that matches the engine. That's what I did. Now, um, bolting this sucker together, um, you can't see because the belt is on, but I have these discs in the center, and you're really gonna need these. I, you know, I try doing it with just stainless steel bolts, and man, you get a lot of torque there. So I had a buddy fabricate me these. Um, you know, if you've got a like a metal sh a sheet metal shop nearby, or somebody who could just kind of take the dimensions from you, draw it out on paper, and give them dimensions. You know, I made the bore a little bit uh, wider, and then you know these half inch holes, and he did those a little wider than the half inch, you know, just to accommodate. And then so I added. You, you'll have to add or remove. Um, discs, you know, a lot of discs is going to be slower speed, less discs is going to be fast speed if you haven't figured that out yet um, with the gear ratio. And um, and it's trial and error. Now, I welded the bolts onto this uh, this side, the sheave that's the, the uh, sheave half that's closer to the engine. And um, so the whole thing just kind of like separates. And what I do to separate it when I need to separate it is I, uh, I apply my big fat tie down, yank the belt back, and then I grab um, a big fat two by four, loosen these bolts with impact, and loosen those, and then I just whack these bolts, and then the whole thing will just separate for you. Uh, but you gotta hit them with wood. You know, of course, don't hit them with uh, a hammer because you'll, you'll damage the bolts, and the last thing you want is, is these things uh, the thread's getting screwed up. So I just I just kind of like whack those with a 2x4, the whole thing will separate. Then you can pull it apart and, and either add or take away um, discs, whatever you think you need to do in order to get your speed right. And that's about it. Um, you know, the, the variable speed drive, I, I, I just, I got rid of it. It just seemed like one more thing to break. And this one's working pretty well. I've got uh, 60 hours on this repower and, and the machine goes like new. So that's my 444. Some of the work I've gotten done with her and uh, more materials to spread. So good luck to you and, and let me know if you have any problems. I'll, you know, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks.